Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode once again. Today, well, I've been taking a, a look at some videos and found Danny and TT's videos and he makes a, a clipboard and that's rather useful. So I'm just trying to show you what I've got on my list of things I'd like to do today. So we've got a division seal, seal which we've we got one from a chest which I then ruined by making it into an iron bar ingot anyway that's the, there's a QED device I'm making a magnum torch so we don't get mobs spawning in the area I found a skeleton druid in the twilight forest I've been doing the um, division signal activation we've got some cursed earth I've done a lot on AE2 and an ender quarry and some books so what I'm going to start with is actually the ender quarry because the ender quarry is quite neat it does it it works slightly different than the build craft quarry and I set it up over here and I also got some wings so I'll just show you that oh, five. some dragon wings I died doing the first set of those but never mind so here I've set up an ender quarry it's now finished um, and but see this quarry is finished right clicking on it I've also got here Oops, don't want that one. Let's take this one. This is an upgrade, speed upgrade two for the ender quarry. This is silk touch upgrade. And here we have the ender markers. Now we need to place four ender markers in a, in a nice line over here. So I'll set them up just to do this little bit here, so that everything under here now is just dirt. There's no more good stuff down there. So let's dig that up. that one oh. and this one now I'm not sure whether the crescent hammer is good for this but let's just see certainly we'll work on the no so Let's just dip another one of those. It'd be good if I could do it in a, a better place. Maybe I'll do that another time. Because it would be quite good to show you actually in action. Well, let's do a small one here. And deliberately put something in the way that we know is going to get dug up. So, first of all, we put down the markers. Let's get those out of the way. Oh, it's builder, Builders 1, 2. Something else I learnt from Danny and TT. Right, where have we got this marker? There we are. Now, I probably need to line them up, so let's use some... Uh, and landmarks and torches. I don't need the bed anymore. Oops, that's a linked book. I don't want that one. How did I do that? So let's just do it, say, to here. square beyond this let's do that oh, maybe I've got this stuff on me I've got some wooden blocks so that'll do I want the magnet let's do this by the way okay now these are all supposed to glow as well when they get activated so let's say here's a good place Let's put the landmark. I need to put another wooden block down, don't I really? And the last one will go one block in front of this. Here. Yeah. 
you know here is the block isn't it so as you can see they've now gone all purple and fuzzy so I can get rid of these landmarks now and they mark the outer bound so it's only going to dig up this area in front of it Put some more wood down. Oops, didn't mean to press that. I'm press W. Yes, that's just fine. Okay. So, what I've got to do first is to go back and get something to. some ore. Let's have a look. Workshop. We've got plenty of ore in here. Let's take some of this. That'll do. And actually, it's probably better to take some of this because that will actually break up if it's not using silk touch. Where did I make that? It was over here by the farm, wasn't it? There we go. Oh, look, trees floating in the air. There must have been a creeper in the area. So, let's put down some... I wanted the Certus Quartz or didn't I? So let's shove some down. I'm not sure where it starts, actually. I have to be a bit lower. I'm flying it till it goes slowly, let's just land. Right, there we go. What's supposed to happen is these are supposed to be replaced by dirt. So, next we need the ender quarry. And we need the upgrades. Okay, let's put the underquay down here. Let's put beside it the silk touch upgrade and here the other one. And right here we shall put the uh, tesseract. Now, question is, is that working? That says it's on. And the under quarry says, uh, oh, right. Successfully established boundary. 12 blocks scanned. So now it's working. So, while that's working, we'll come back in a short while. Maybe I should put down some more Certus Quartz to see if we, where it's working. Huh? Maybe it's too late now, I don't know. Let's have a think. Yeah. Would be sensible. Oops, going too fast, need to land. It's in front, isn't it? Right, that should do. We shall see. Wait and see, huh? So, Let's go back to the workshop because what I'd like to do today as a, a main topic is to go to the applied energetics. I haven't done much applied energetics so far, but I had an idea. So I did build some um, ME interfaces and molecular strength assemblers, um, and I'd already built a controller. And I've, I've created some cables so we can see what's going on and here we've got some 4k crafting unit and a co-processor what I'd like to do is to automate the production of these so basically what I've come up with the idea is 
if I go into this chest, uh, into this ME interface here, oh, not what I wanted. There we go. I've got some encoding patterns where I say that to make one calculation process, I need silicon, no, pure certus quartz crystals, one silicon, one redstone. And the idea is it will then put it into this chest, like this, for example. So the gold and the silicon. So what I'm going to do is that here I've got the, sil the silicon press. What I'd like to do is to reprogram this so that anything in that chest will be. I can hear lots of uh, creepers creeping up above our head and zombies because I the cursed earth that I got from the is I just put it above there. It was probably a daft place to put it. Is here. So what I want to do is I shall get rid of this trigger and instead of having a, a trigger that uses a, a switch, which is what it was done for, I just create a normal, a normal trigger. Well, could have done that easier, couldn't I? I'll link that to that. So what that's going to do now is going to take anything in the inventory, hit this in the iron chest. Well, anything, that's not right, is it? And it's got to be a silicon oh yes that reminds me i did upgrade as well to um wonder 11 one and the colors have changed on some of the items and one of those uh storage drawers bugs has been fixed as well i'll show you that in a while perhaps so so now that should simply take that's the, so it's taken the silicon out so the silicon's probably now been processed already and will be sitting here waiting to be processed yes perfect so the next one in here is the gold ingot so we'll do that one as well so i think that gold is logic here we go so if we put gold in here we get a logic press so i have to go and reprogram that So interval as usual, don't care about that. Oops, I keep putting the wrong one, don't I? So the inventories. So that goes into this inscriber as an input. That's all the same as it was before. And the output now goes into this inscriber. That's, that's also correct. In fact, that's silicon. So the gold arms are logic circuit wasn't it so here I've got a whole load of logic I don't need anymore which we can dump because all we need to do now is we don't care about the, the silicon or the sign so much what we probably want to do is still have a condition but a different condition so we get the gold that should still be the same from the same inventory and it should go gold right correct and the output of the gold should also be in the same oh I did lose um, an inscriber so I had to fix that one of those uh, skeleton druids attacked me came through the, the floor and uh, attacked me when it spawned through the floor wasn't very cool Okay, that should probably be enough. What have I got on this flow here? So look, that's just a split. So I can simply get rid of this one as well. That was to split it into two. And I still don't need this trigger, so we get rid of that trigger. And so we've simplified this process quite a lot. Just want a simple trigger now, interval trigger. that goes from there to there. So that will simply pick up the gold and put it into the here which is done that'll get pressed come into here which it should do in the bottom okay that will then get converted into a logic processor and now the logic processor we need to change the logic for so let's go back what's happened here i don't know I 
shelf check in a minute. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. Right. So the processor. So now we have an error because I removed the um, storage drawers and put into its place a wooden chest. So we need to just change the target here to that one. So that's the output and items. We don't care. And update the sign. And this condition says, what does it say? So it's an inventory. So it says if this inscriber here contains any one of these, then it will extract it. Okay, fine. So, so now we should have, it's already gone. Because underneath here, I put a, another bus, an import bus. So what I need to do is to check. Let's see now, what do we have? Mm, that was logic press, wasn't it? I've got one logic press. Let's take this off and let's craft it again, shall we? Let's craft one of these. Start. What we should see as you can see the silicon and, and the logic circuit you can see the silicon coming in here and the and they've got a logic circuit being pressed being removed should be in this chest and should now be in the system here we have it so that's what I wanted to demonstrate. Now, of course, we've got to do the next ones. So all of this, this stuff can now disappear. Overly complicated, really. And the ME system makes it a little bit simpler. Oh, those, those monsters are driving me crazy. <laughs> I probably should remove them. Let's go and have a look at what I've done there. So let's go up to the spawners. Where's it gone to? There we are. See, I created some cursed earth. And here I put the the mob spawners. So I'm getting tons of uh, essence, and then this chest is just getting full of all sorts of stuff. So you can see blazes have been here, skeletons, ender minis, endermen, spiders, zombies, everything. Ah. Blitzes, sorry, not blazes. So what I probably will do is remove that too cursed earth and move it somewhere else because they make a lot of noise <laughs> what I did with the others hid them well behind the wall there so the next one let's do that quickly because I haven't done I haven't done all of that have I so so we did the logic circuit what have I got in here these are This belongs to silicon, doesn't it? Maybe I was playing. <laughs> mm, not sure. I hadn't checked, seen that before. Right, let's go to the calculation circuit. Okay. So again, it's the same stuff. We want to get rid of all of this. I don't care about any of this. I have to hold it shift. It's supposed to be able to drag the whole lot and it's supposed to do that, but that doesn't work for me. So maybe that's just a. I have to do one at a time. In fact, I can also change this one. So I can change the connections here just to an on interval, on interval trigger. Simply put it down there. So now it's as simple as getting, oops, missed that one. Simple as oh, doing something with the sign, getting some quartz, and putting the quartz to the uh, inscriber. Oh, 
hitting the side again. On this side it's just getting the press, outputting the press, and that's it. Yeah, I wish I didn't want to press that. I wanted to press this one. Oh, that's a bit strange, isn't it? It's not grouping the stuff properly. Right, I'll have to fix that. I'll probably uh, after the upgrade, maybe it's done some strange things. But don't ask me what. So, calculation, yes, that's right. But the group seems to have the information still in, that's a bit weird. Alright, the last one's engineering, let's have a look at this one. It'll be the same thing. This one I changed the order to, uh, for because I thought it'd probably be good if it did it in sequence, just in case you didn't have any diamonds. And then you'd be simply producing silicon. Let's get rid of all of that. that. I think that was a condition for that actually. So, so it's basically checking for a diamond in the chest. Well, then now it doesn't matter because there won't be a diamond in the chest unless we trigger it. So here we change this one again. Let's do straightforward on interval trigger. To the sign. And on the output I also did a condition. I think the reason I did this condition was for the sign. And the condition was checking a true condition, so it was simply checking the that this had actually got into it a, a printed engineering circuit. And if it had then it would take it out. Otherwise it just does nothing. I might do put that into all of them actually because it's a sensible thing especially for the, that. So again we have a bit of a strangeness here, but it doesn't matter that much more again. Uh, we'll just tr test it out again. Oops. So let's have a look. What do we want? Logic circuits. No, not logic. Calculation. We've already got seven calculations in here. And we've actually got 13 cal printed calculation circuits. Let's take those. And they really want to be in the chest. But that's not going to work, is it? Uh, maybe I have to put it. No, I'll have to leave it and do that manually. Or set up a different way to fill it in. So what we wanted was now one logic. Oh, I get it wrong every time, don't I? Let's craft one of those. Start. And there you can see a silicon and a quartz. A silicon's at the top. Take, oh, I've got the timer on this one, 10 seconds or so. Quartz on the bottom. So a quick look. Oh, I've come too far away. So it's gone in there and it'll be pulled in straight away. So we should now have the one calculator processor. Quite a simple setup with a bit of a uh, workflow. So now let's go back to the front door. See how that uh, core is doing, if it's done anything at all. Four hundred and sixty one blocks scanned. Well, I think I shall just leave it and see what happens. It seems to take quite a long time. Maybe I need to increase the power here. At the moment, I'm sending items receiving energy. And with the end of query, I could also do fluids, I believe. But I need, a, at the other end, to be able to process those fluids. So, at the moment, I haven't done that. Ah, of course, that's the wrong end. I have to go back to the other end. Maybe I can get to the workshop from here. Because it's one floor up. Oh, yes, I was going to show you this, wasn't I? If you remember, the copper... The compacting drawer and copper wasn't producing the ingots, now it's got their nuggets as well. And the same with, um, I think it was silver and tin. 
But what I want to do is find a way to be able to integrate those into the there. Uh, oh, did I press go fast? Into the bus. So now I've got this test uh, that's the test that's the tesseract and I don't need the tesseract on the the energy so so I've set it up directly let's make it oh, that's too much. Let's make it oops, that's still too much. How do I do that? Let's get to make that a hundred. That's hundred and five. And see if it now keep, can keep up with the power requirements. It looks okay. Now, stuff, as you can, oh, actually, you can see the stuff coming out of here. That's what we should do: stick it into a different one, to another chest, to see what we get. Um, Actually, have I got a chest away? No. Let's go downstairs and put a, quickly put a diamond chest up. I might not have a diamond chest. I've got a gold chest, let's use this one. Because of this dense impulse stuck there. If I put this just here, everything everything will start coming into that. So you see it's picking up stone. My hunger levels are quite high, so I better, well, quite high. It's an exaggeration, of course. Let's have a look. What have I got? Uh, plenty of food. So it picked up some ferrous ore. It'd be nice to see this probably coming from the um, the sludge boiler. The sludge boiler is um, the one by the, the farm at the top above the house. So I think, for, oh, for today, that's probably about it. Now I did set up a nice chandelier here. And that also keeps the mobs at bay for 16 blocks. Ah, yes, this is what I wanted to demonstrate. To get the Silk Touch um, book, it was actually quite difficult. I spent my time eating essence berries. Let's go and, oh, yes, here they are. My time eating essence berries and try and enchanting books. And then I set up this system to automate that a bit. So let's go and pick up this. This is now full of essence berries. Change over. Oh, let's try again. Okay. Just use the traveller's belt and just switch over to the other side. So if I put this here. I guess it's in my thing, isn't it? Let's do it this way around so we can see it. Now what's going to happen is it's taking these out of here putting these into this autonomous activator. The autonomous activator is right clicking on them and producing essence. The essence is going into this vacuum hopper. As you can see, it's squidging the essence out. I can also take the essence from myself here, from this. Uh, the essence that then goes out this side. So that's the experience Obesk obelisk and that's putting them into this enchanting table the enchanting table is taking is an auto enchanting table it's taking things from the left hand side it's taking drinking from the front side and you know, it's ejecting on the right hand side so in here we get lots of enchanted books and these are all done at level 30 from here so that's the highest level and the idea is yeah, that's the one with a maximum chance of getting a silk touch book. And here's the book. So maybe I've got some more with me, as so I have 20. So as you can see, these are getting 
internal compass, ricking three, sharpness, bridge, education three. I have no idea what half of these do. Efficiency four, that's quite a good one. Disarming, sharpness three, implosion four. That's, that's brilliant. Fire recall, capitalist one, power three, fire protection three. Unstable two, smite four. Uh, and it just carries on. Eventually you'll have the noble books in here. And this will be full of enchanted books. Then, then I use that enchanted book and the gold pickaxe, and then that's the, the core component, the hardest component for there. You see, I drained all the XP out of that tank in order to enchant the books. I thought that was quite good. I did find it somewhere. You can see all the X berries going into the concentrated essence berries going into this automation activator. It's cool. Just clicking them all randomly or sequently. So that'll take a while. Let's come back to this chest and see if we found anything that actually is. There we go. One set of squats. So I think that's the proof of the pudding. So now I want to let this fill up, otherwise there'll be no space in here. So what I want to do to do that, simply right click that and then it goes that way. And of course I can then take this now in here and put that into the system, which is one floor up. And this replace it with this chest here. And that's it. Everything that's there has now been taken out and goes into the system. So we should see even the oops, one more floor down. That sort of quartz all coming in here. Oh, and I did lose, lose all my markers as well, which was a bit irritating. So sort of quartz is this one. So we have 213. It'll come down. It don't know whether it's gone through yet. It'll come down into here. And there's only one place. It just comes into this one point here. I think I showed you that before. Oh, there's a potential mob spot, but there was, I don't think that's a, sp a problem. As you see, things go into this single place here, otherwise you get passed through here and go down into the ME system. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, bye for now.